Hi, and welcome to another tutorial with Mr. Petromo. Today, we are going to look at assigning a sorting activity using a Google slide and Google Classroom. So this activity can be adapted for a lot of different lessons, but on the board, you'll see that I have my Google slide mostly set up. So I'm gonna go through, I didn't wanna be time consuming, so I wanted to have this mostly set up, but I'm gonna show you how to set that up um, with my last little piece. Now, you know, I have my title on food groups and it's just a single slide, by the way. So I have my four food groups, fruit, meat, grains, and dairy. I am missing vegetable. So I'm going to um, insert, there's a couple different ways you could do this. Insert shapes are fun. So you can insert any of these shapes to um, be the sorting field. You can also insert arrows or call outs. Um, equations are for math, but the um, line feature has a few other things and it's um, one of them is the polyline. I love the polyline. The scribble is freehand. Um, so you can choose whatever shape you'd like to be your sorting field. So I'm gonna click on this polyline and I'll show you how that works. So you start by clicking once and it starts your line and you, you can just drag it around and click it wherever. And then every click, you give it a corner. And so when you have your shape completed, you bring it back to the, the beginning click and it solidifies the shape. So here's my shape. I'm going to give it a dark border color right here using the border tool. I'm gonna to give it a that black color and then I'm gonna make the border weight thick because right now it's very thin and I want it to pop for the kids. So click on that shape and make that border weight thick like four or even eight. We'll make it nice and thick and then the kids will see the shapes that they're supposed to sort in. So this one is only four. I'm gonna put that up to eight so that they all match. And then I'm gonna give this one a text box right here with my text box tool. I mean a, a title with my text box tool and it, it is vegetables. And to make it match the other text box, I'm gonna bold it. And then I'm going to center it. So I can grab that and use my alignment tools. That The red alignment tools are great for centering things. And now I have my polygon shape for the vegetables to be sorted into. Now, you'll notice one thing, and that is I already have a bunch of my food groups pasted in and thrown to the side. So I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. Um, what you wanna do is you, you wanna go to insert and then image and then search the web. This is the easiest way. In Google Slides, seriously, this is so easy. It opens up a search and you can search for whatever you want. What do you wanna search for? Oh, my Alexa's helping me out and I didn't ask her. <laughs> so I'm gonna hit that broccoli and I'm gonna insert it. Now this is the, the little trick to it is it's gonna throw it in huge and you're gonna shrink that broccoli down to a nice little size and then throw it off to the side in the margin. That's all you do. Let me show you again, insert image and search from the web. And I can search for a pair and I can pick from all the options and insert a pair. Every now and then you'll get a stubborn picture that um, gives you an error message and it won't, won't insert. So you just pick a different one and move along. So shrink that pair down throw it over here in the margins and continue on. I'm gonna do one more, search for the web. Um, I don't have very many greens, so let's do a muffin. Let's, let's search for a grain muffin and see what we get, multi-grain. Oh, these pictures aren't very good. I'm not happy with these. There, that one will do. All right, I'm going to shrink that down, and then I'm going to throw it in that margin right there. So here are all the objects I want the kids to place. When they do the activity, they're just going to take that grain and drag it into the grain zone. This is all they do for the sorting activity. So it's kind of quick and fun. 
um, you do have to make sure that those objects are moved all the way to the back. So you go, you click on your object and you go to arrange and under order, you send them all to the back. So you are gonna have to do that one at a time. Arrange, order, send to the back. Click on the box, arrange, order, send to the back. There's another way to make this um, happen and that is to make it invisible inside. So instead of moving it to the back, you can use that paint can to turn it transparent. And then anything you throw inside there will show through. So let's throw a vegetable in there. So that will be transparent. And I know you're going to argue with me about whether a tomato is a fruit or a vegetable, and it is a fruit. Oops. Um, so you'll still want to make sure that those objects are in the back, because when the kids go to sort, I hope you saw that I grabbed the object instead. All right. And I want to grab the fruit first and be able to move that around. So make sure each one of those are in the back so the kids don't accidentally click on them. And here is my sorting activity. Now, to get this on Google Classroom, let me put these all back where they're supposed to go. Before I do this, I want to save this as my template. And you can continue to add as many objects as you like. This will work for so many different topics. Like you could use this in chemi chemistry for um, different mo molecular weights. You could use it in algebra for for um, different algebraic equations. So many applications for this sorting technique. I know it's um, elementary from what you're looking at, but you could really um, bring this up. So um, anyways, when I have my sample done and set, I'm going to make sure that it's saved, which it, it's auto-saved as a Google slide. And I'm going to go to my fake Google Classroom and I'm going to go to Classwork I'm going to create an assignment, create an assignment, and then I'm going to go to this add button and I'm going to click on Google Drive. Then I'm going to find my sorting sample slide and I'm going to insert that one. But before I do, right over here, the settings, students can view file. I'm going to change this to make a copy for each student. And you have to do that when you first make the assignment. If you make this assignment and don't choose this option and then go back and try to edit it later, it is locked out and you'll have to delete the whole assignment and change it. So make a copy for each assignment, give it your points, give it a title, give it your instructions, and you can assign that assignment. And there you go, you have a pretty easy to put together sorting assignment using a Google slide. Now you can do multiple activities. You can just insert a new slide and you can make a whole new group. You could split those food groups into five and have all those different vegetables and fruit and meat and milk. You could have those on each slide and each slide be one food group. So that could be a possibility. Um, there's so many different ways that you could spend this. So I hope you enjoyed this and um, good luck making your sorting um, activity on Google Slides. Have fun and I'll see you next time.